welcome back to Tea For Me Please. Um, today I'm going to show you my antique tea crate uh, coffee table that I made. I'm really excited to share it. It was something I've been wanting to do for a while, um, but I finally found the crate um, and pulled the whole thing together. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, so for starters, this is uh, the front of the crate. Um, as you can see, it says Lipton, um, Tea Planter, um, and Ceylon. Uh, Ceylon is the old name for Sri Lanka, um, which is kind of where the Lipton Tea Company actually started. As you can see, there's definitely some age on this. Um, I actually managed to find it on eBay from a seller in New York, uh, which was great because it didn't cost a whole lot for shipping. Um, Jason was definitely very surprised to see this box show up at the house, um, but let me show you the other sides. On this side, you can see it says 100 half pound tins, um, so that would be how much tea was sent inside. So on this side, um, we have the stamp of the King of England. At that time, um, Sri Lanka had been colonized by England, um, and so this is the stamp of King Edward VII. Interestingly enough, King Edward VII was only king for 1936, um, so we know exactly how old this crate is because of that. So the box itself is not very heavy, um, so I've actually put just uh, furniture slider pads underneath um, so that we can kind of move it around easily without you know, having to worry about damaging the box. So for the top, um, Jason actually had a local glass company um, custom cut a piece um, to fit on top uh, with slightly rounded edges that way we're not going to hurt ourselves on it, um, but we still wanted to kind of keep a square look to mirror the table. This part I'm still kind of working on um, is to support the tabletop um, as it's not perfectly straight on top of the crate. Um, we basically stacked up furniture pads um, to protect the glass. Um, the top one is kind of like a non-slip one, so that helps keep the glass from moving around too much. Um, I'm hoping to find a more permanent solution, um, but I don't really want to drill into the crate um, just because it is so old. Um, and then I just I felt like the table was missing something so I just got an artificial fern from Target um, And I really like the way it looks kind of just fills in that space So that's it for my antique tea crate coffee table Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this table um, or even just tea in general um, They might just make it into a future video, um, but I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching